a visit to the Peninsular Ag Research Station. We're visiting today with Matt Stasiak, superintendent of the Peninsular Ag Research Station, University of Wisconsin in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon. Matt, can you start out by giving us a little picture of the Peninsular Station? We're on the, uh, the eastern geographical thumb of uh, Wisconsin. We stick out in the Lake Michigan. We have the lake uh, to the east of us and Green Bay to the west. Uh, that modifies our climate, keeps us cooler in the summer, uh, less cold in the winter, so it allows us to grow some crops that may not be as adapted to the rest of the state, mainly fruit crops. Well, tell us about the fruit crops. What are the main fruit crops on the station? Historically, uh, we've been a cherry producing region that's tart cherries, that's the pie cherry, not the sweet cherry that you typically eat fresh out of hand, but the processed cherry that goes into juices and pies and pastries and dried cherries and apples, uh, probably our second crop. Number three, the big uh, fruit crop is grapes. What's new about grapes? What are you seeing with the grapes? There's commercial interest now. People wanting to grow grapes to produce local wines. The food industry has branched out into more local production, and that has happened with wine. And uh, We got serious about five to ten years ago and put in a number of plantings. It's a replicated trial where we're looking at grape varieties that are well suited to wine production in our climate. And Matt, can you tell us a little bit about the cherry business in the state? Door County, the Door Peninsula, was king. 50, 60 years ago. We were the number one producer of uh, cherries in the country. That changed. Production shifted to Michigan, where they grow about 80% of the cherries right now. But we still grow about 2,500, 3,000 acres. It's a small, but it's still a, a healthy industry. Um, and we try to help them with disease control and insect management. There's been some changes with uh, more juice production, and dried cherries have been a boon to the industry. Matt, what do you see as the future of your station? Future of the station, I think we're doing a lot more work with the grapes, but Apple's production has changed a lot in the last few years, and we're really working hard to increase productivity for apple growers. There's been a lot of interest in new varieties. Honeycrisp has taken off. It's a Minnesota variety, but very well received by the growers in Wisconsin. It's been a great apple for the industry and for consumers alike. And cherries that has kind of resurged, and there's a lot of interest in, in the health benefits of cherries. So production is is again going up. We've been visiting with Matt Stasiak, Peninsular Ag Research Station, University of Wisconsin and the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon.